Every few months, you'll find that your Q-tip doesn't seem to take as much chalk. The chalk doesn't seem to stick to the tip, and you miss Q more often. Now you can wrap up the tip with sandpaper or a tip scuffer, which solves the problem for a while, but eventually you're going to need to change a tip. Now there are places you can get this done for you. Maybe your local club or queue shop offers re-tipping as a service. But I think it's far better to be able to do it yourself. The tip is a very important part of the queue. It has a massive effect on your game. If you've put the tip on, then you know it will have been done properly. And if you're not happy with it, you can change it without having to seek help. So what equipment do you need to change a tip? A sharp knife, a tip clamp, a sanding machine, tip cement, a tip shaper, and not forgetting a new tip. There are a few different makes of tip on the market. Quality tips will be made of leather and some brands are harder than others. A hard tip will last longer but may not give as much grip as something a little bit softer. It's a matter of personal preference. Try the different brands until you find one that you like. The first thing you need to do is to chop your old tip off. It's a good idea to lay your cue on a flat surface for this and if it's two piece or three quarter take the butt off so that it's easier to work with. Line up the knife against the ferrule and chop down in one smooth cut to take the tip off. After you've cut the tip off, pick up the cue and carefully cut off any bits of tip left behind. Always cut away from the body, accidents can happen. The next thing you need to do is to make sure that the ferrule and the end of the shaft within it is perfectly level. If it's not, the tip will not sit tight on top of the cue and it has the potential to fly off mid-frame. To get the ferrule flat, the best thing to use is a sanding machine that's made for the purpose. When you're happy that the ferrule is flat, it's time to get your tip ready. I usually select a tip that's a little bit larger than the ferrule. This way, if I don't get the tip totally central, it doesn't matter too much, as I can always file a bit off when it's stuck. Also, I like to play with the tip slightly overhanging the ferrule. I'm less likely to miss cue when I'm hitting the cue ball near the edge, as there's no chance of making contact with the ferrule. This is my personal preference. You might feel happier with a tip that matches the cue. Once you've selected your tip, it's a good idea to rough up the side that will make contact with the top of the cue. Sand it on a flat surface so you can be sure it will fit snug against the ferrule. You don't want it to soak up too much adhesive, so once you've roughed it up, rub it against the flat surface until the leather has a small shine to it. Now, the tricky bit. Get the tip clamp ready and apply the tip cement to the top of the cue. Put the cement to one side and then take the tip and align it to the top of the cue. Don't apply any pressure yet. Once the tip is sitting on the cue, centre it by pushing it gently from side to side. When you're happy it's in the right position, grab the clamp and secure the tip in place. The tip should be firmly stuck in around 30 minutes, but I would leave it as long as possible before undoing the clamp. I usually leave mine overnight. When you think the cement is dry, remove the clamp and check that the tip is secure. Check that it's a nice tight fit all the way around the ferrule. If it isn't, it probably is because the ferrule and the tip were not completely flat to begin with. The only cure is to chop it off and start again. If it all looks good, then it's time to shape the tip. The tip needs to be a nice dome shape. If the tip was square, then it would make a good contact when playing the cue ball plain ball, but when applying spin, the contact would be very small, and there's a good possibility of a miscue. If the tip is nicely rounded, then whatever spin you put on the cue ball, an equal amount of tip is in contact with the ball. The chance of miscue is much reduced, and there's a consistent contact, which means consistency in your game. The best way to achieve a uniformly rounded tip is to use a tip shaper. When shaping the tip, you should always stroke down from the centre of the tip. If you file the other way, it rips up the fibres of the leather and this will weaken the tip and in some cases make it unplayable. It's a good idea to screw the cue back together for this bit so that as you file down, then you can rotate the cue and make sure it's filed equally all the way around. Once you have a shape that you're happy with, then you'll need to play in the tip. Basically, you need to play a few games to pack the fibres of your new tip down. 
During this process, it's a good idea to keep the tip shaper handy so you can keep the rounded shape as the tip compresses. A simple way to speed up the playing in of the tip is to take a cue ball and tap it repeatedly against the tip, like you are playing lots of shots. This way you can get your tip match ready in the shortest possible time.